Big up yourself and subscribe to this channel. Watch, like, and share the videos. Oh, and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified. You know, don't know say a Jamaican can achieve anything in this world once them put them head to it. Jamaicans are versatile, but America is the greatest country in the world. We are a superpower. And you know, have a super cartoon president too. <laughs> China is the greatest producer of goods. We make anything in this universe. Yeah, I true that. When we produce coronavirus too. When it comes to sports and entertainment, are we still a rule? Usain Bolt, Shellyan, and Bob Marley are world beaters. And watch out for popcorn. China can beat any of you in fighting technique. We invented karate. We have the greatest military fighting force on the planet. We also produce some of the greatest boxers in the history of the sports. Boxers like Muhammad Ali and Jack Johnson. Me demonstrate fighting technique, show skills. from Hong Kong. This comes from New York City. Hold on so come This come from hardware and lumber Rapid True Value Limited Chubble Dede Honey, I am home. Honey. Carrie, you know you're me at the same reach home. Sorry, Stompy, me never hear you. Me could have tell say you and that ugly puss again making a hear me, you know. Lollipop not ugly. Look how him fur clean and pretty. Anyway, dinner ready? Rotted! Me lose track of time. Me never know it's so late. Just open a tin of sardine and make two sandwiches for yourself. Seriously, Kerry? From you get that pussy, you ignore everything else, including me. Lax, man. A jealous you jealous over a little kitty? The whole day you lay down with the pussy and I don't know. So now, you really expect me to eat sardine for dinner? Me have plenty sardine in the house cause lollipop loves sardine.
Kerry, we're going on the road. Make me take Gully Bob for a ride. He must need some fresh air. Him name Lollipop, not Gully Bop. I make sure you bring him back safe and sound. Yes, dear. Him start to grow up on me now. If you think you're going back home, you make a sad mistake. Just have to tell Kerry said call him back, run off and I can't find him. Ah, see you bring back lollipop safe and sound. <coughs> it look like you're getting for like him for true. <coughs> this time, me and Kerry go far. So you can't find your way back. So you think you're smart, you golly bop? Watch me and you this time. At some place where me never go yet, me and Kerry go leave. Yes, mission accomplished. Rated, but me not passed just a two time already. Don't tell me say I lost my last. Hello, Kerry? Gullibop at home? Yes, Lollipop is right here with me. Put the little bastard on the phone so I can ask him for directions for come home. And now, our feature presentation. I don't show the lion again, I see it already. Shut up! That show you not owe me yet. The lion is just the movie company logo where them show in them preview. Oh, I always wonder how the lion there not so much show. Him gone that way there. <laughs> See Tama come here. Bet same junk already. <laughs> hey, 
Every day I see my walk and tumble down. <coughs> Wait, Tom consumed the devil soup. <laughs> but it look like the devil soup consume him. A true Ross. Every day we pass ya so, him lay down at the same spot there. Clearly him can't handle the devil soup. Look at this disgusting man upon the sidewalk. Every day I pass here, I see him sleeping upon the street side. Imagine the man have him good, good wife at home. Why him don't go home to her? Instead, I drink rum, I get drunk, and I fall down upon the roadside. Maybe I have problems at home with the wife, that's why I take her own feet. Look there, that girl is licking face, him too disgusting. Get up and go home to your wife, you sick stomach. Oh man, me myself drunk today, but Tomorrow, me I go get shoba. But you ugly today, and you I go be ugly tomorrow, and you are go always be ugly. The Honorable Judge Frederick Freerbanks presiding. This trial is called to order. What do I have before me today? Your Honor, we have before us the case of the one armed bandit versus low fat wholesale. Mr. Tiny, who has one arm, is accused of breaking into low fat wholesale and stealing a 300 pound bag of flour. How do you plead, Mr. Tiny? Not guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Lofat, explain to the court how you have come to accuse Mr. Tiny of stealing a bag of flour weighing 300 pounds. Your Honor, me upstairs in bedroom, worky worky wife, when me hear sound downstairs, wife stop me and say, go check sound. Me vex you, Hannah, because me never done worky wife. Downstairs, me surprised to see one and man leave flower with nook and then throw it over him back and walk through door. Me knock him out with baseball bat and then call police. Wife did traumatize, so me never finish worky, Johanna. He's still vex. Mr. Lofat, that's too much information about your wife, but we get the picture. Sergeant Brown, explain to the court why you have arrested Mr. Tiny. When I got to the senior honor, Mr. Tiny was unconscious by the door of the wholesale with a crowbar and a bag of flour beside him. Mr. Lofat was standing over him with a baseball bat. We have entered the crowbar and the flower into evidence, Your Honor. Mr. Tiny, we have heard compelling evidence against you, yet you claim you are innocent. I lie them at help me, Your Honor. How a little maga man like me for lift up that every bag of flower that I'm a hunger of one hand. The police found you unconscious with the bag of flour beside you. 
How do you explain that? Because my homeless Serana, I did not sleep outside the old seal. Ah. I then wake up and find handcuffs by my hand. And when I ask where me do, them send me tea flower. Frame them a frame me, runner, because the Chinese man want me sleep outside them old seal. That seems to me like a reasonable explanation. I fail to see a man of your tiny stature, Mr. Tiny, with only one arm, can lift a bag of flour weighing 300 pounds. I have come to the conclusion that Mr. Lofat concocted this absurd accusation because he doesn't want you to sleep outside his wholesale. But, you Anna, me no lie. Hush up, you have had your say. Mr. Tiny, you are free to go and you can take the bag of flour with you. Thank you, Rihanna. <gasps> Sergeant, lock up him clat, damn thief. The Honorable Judge Frederick Freerbanks presiding. This trial is called to order. What do I have before me today? Your Honor, we have before us the case of a politician versus a state entity. Mr. Robin Crooks is accused of defrauding the state of over $100 million. How do you plead, Mr. Crooks? Not guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Prosecutor, call your first witness to the stand. Your Honor, I call Mr. Crooks' helper, Mrs. Johnson, to the stand. Mrs. Johnson, do you know me? Why, yes, of course, me know you, Mr. Bailey. Me know you since you was a picnic. And what a big disappointment she is to your family. <gasps> you tell too much lie. You cheat on your wife. <laughs> you chat people and red eye behind them back. You think you is a big shot now. But you no realize that you will never be more than a two-bit paper pusher. <gasps> yes, me know you are right. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, do you know the defense attorney? Why, yes, me know Mr. Williams from him a little boy too. Him lazy. And good for nothing, him always a cuss people. <laughs> and him always a going like him better than everybody. <laughs> him can't even build a normal relationship with anybody. <laughs> for him law practice are the worst in a Jamaica. No more outbursts in my court, please. Him cheat, him thief, 
Nothing a de devious we him no do. A three different women me ear same have. And one of them are you misses. <laughs> yes, sir. Me know him well. Counselors, approach the bench. If either of you idiots asks if she knows me, I lock up on a clad in a jail for contempt of court. I just, you alone enjoy this spiffy. Yo, big football match at stadium later. Uno a reach? Is one who a play? Local derby between Red Brigade and Yellow United. Wow, that can't miss my man. Then me no must dead at all. Saras, you a reach? Then, you no know some African support my side. Alright, we are going to meet up at the usual spot over bleachers later. Boy, I and I broke, but I have to reach in the stadium. Daddy, I am bridging. What are you Work me work, Ross. It's I and I, Ross Bongo Jeremiah. Beg your run now. No pilfering run here, Ross. Look how long you know I, and I say you deal with I. This is the VIP section, and you have to have your VIP ticket. Man a gangster, man a peer going to Babylon event. When the national anthem start play, the Babylon them must stand at attention. So may I just jump down and pass them. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. Ross, how you bust up your face up? I jump, me jump the wall and drop. Cause Rasta no pay come in a Babylon event. <laughs> but Ross, I'm free for coming. Why you think inside your supper? And you're the wrong supporter section too.